Has Ryan said anything yet? No. Poor thing, can't even see straight. She can't accept the fact that Jillian's gone. I hope that someday Ryan will see that Jillian's last gift to the world was an incredible one. I know this might be really hard for you to wrap your mind around. But you did the right thing for Laura and for Jillian. You know, I don't know if I should say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. You and Jillian, you saved Laura's life. You did. And, and someday... Please leave. Ryan? All of you, please leave. Time, you know, alone. I'll come by tomorrow morning. I'll bring you some breakfast, right? If there's, if there's anything you need, please call it at any time. Ryan, Ryan. Jillian loved you very, very much. Now you just keep that in your heart every day. And I promise it, it will help you to get through this. And just remember, we all love you. Ryan. I'm sorry. I really am. Consider you my cousin, Ryan. My family. And I know that you'll always keep Jillian alive for the Merricks with the love that you carry inside for her. I'm so sorry, bro. Liza, do you think I should put the food away? I, I don't think he'll be able to deal with it. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it really quick. I'll meet you on the dock in five minutes. All right, darling. Okay. I mean, stay off of it! And I know! Then why do you keep showing up here? I just came to say I'm sorry. This... It's Gardenia. It's Jillian's favorite. How did you know that? I saw you give them to her when I was hiding out here. Look, I like the way she laughed. Look, it's, it's hard to be alone, to lose someone. Hey, stay away from him. What the hell are you doing? Get off me! Hey, don't trust this guy. He could be involved in Jillian's shooting. You don't believe that. I told everyone I had nothing to do with Jillian being shot. Nothing. I'm sorry that it happened. Don't you believe a word?
word out of his mouth. Edmund, Edmund, look, right, uh, Gabriel, come in here. Will you tell Gabriel that he can stay here at Wildwind? Gabriel, you can stay. There's plenty of room here. See, it's better than going to the shelter. Maybe, but I'm not welcome here. Yes, you are. If Edmund says you're welcome, you're welcome. Dimitri lives here, too. <clears throat> Gabriel, my brother's been giving you a very hard time lately. I think it's because of Jillian. He's reeling over her death, we all are. Man, he hates me. No, he hates Charlotte. He said first-hand experience with her cruelty. So have I. I know. Anna and I, when we got back from England, we, we found out what happened to you at Brynwood. You should have told us how she treated you. Leave me alone. There's nothing to tell. Ryan, are you listening to me? Are you listening? Let, let me handle Gabriel. Don't worry, Dimitri. I'm not about to be taken in by somebody. Why are you here? The, uh... The hospital gave Alex Jillian's personal effects last night. I, I thought you'd want to have these. Yeah, it's jewelry and clothing. for a few days after the funeral. What? The funeral, Ryan. That's the other reason I came. I had to tell you about the arrangements that I've made. Now, listen, I, I figured we'd have a small memorial service in our chapel, and then afterwards we could lay Jillian to rest in the wild and mausoleum. No, no. There will not be a funeral. Jillian is still here. She's still with me. What do you mean she's still with you? It's impossible to let go. It's even to think about letting go. Jillian will always live on in our hearts and our memories, Ryan. Just, just, just let me handle everything right now, okay? I'll call the funeral home. I'll oh, I said no. Dimitri, I can't hear this. This is not happening. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't mean to rush you. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I just want to be alone. Okay. I'll give you some privacy. Ryan, we love you. If there's anything you need, anything, 